Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to talk about GradCam, that is Gradient Weighted Class Activation Mapping. It is a technique used to improve the interpretability of deep learning models, particularly CNNs. It helps visualize which region of an image contribute the most to the model's prediction by producing a heat map over the original input image. Let me show you an example of the heat map. So here in the image, you can see the input image and then the image with the heat map. So this heat map is generated via the grad cam. So in this video, we will try to implement the grad cam and generate these heat maps. Okay, so let's now start with the coding part. So first of all, we'll start by importing all the libraries which we need for this task. Next, we have a function called preprocess image. And the aim of this function is to read the image and then preprocess it accordingly. So first of all, we read the image using the OpenCV. Then we resize it to 244 by 244. And that is the size which is taken by the MobileNet V2. This size is specified, you cannot change it. If you change it, you may encounter some error or your uh, heat map would not be that good. After that, we expand its dimension on the first axis, that is the start, that is zero axis, not the first technically. So that this would be a batch of one image. And after that, we pass this array via this preprocess input and we get our preprocessed in. So next would be our main function to compute the grade cam heat map. So let me paste it here and we'll understand each line. So this function called compute grade map first takes your model. And here in our case, it would be mobile net v2. Then it take the preprocessed image array, then the class index. And this class index we are gonna predict using the mobile net v2. And the last is the name of the layer that is the conv layer. As as we need the feature map for the specific layer for which we need to calculate the or calculate the heat map. So our first step inside this function is to get our grad model. So this model takes your uh, regular input that is this image array which is already pre-processed and it's going to give you two outputs. First would be the output feature map of this specific layer that is cone underscore one and the second output would be the log it. Next uh, we have this tf dot gradient tape and inside this line we um, take our grad model and we pass our image array and we get two outputs. First would be cone output and this cone output is the feature map or the output of the that specific layer that is cone 1 next would be your prediction then we have the loss for the target index as you know we will calculate this index via our specific model which we have given as input to this function next we gonna compute the gradient using this tape dot gradient function where we give loss and the cone output so we have this gradients then we gonna Pool them. We are going to uh, reduce them via global average pooling on the axis 0, 1 and 2. Now we have two uh, outputs. First is the cone uh, output. Okay, then pooled grade. Next, what we are going to do? Now here we have this pooled grade. So what we do? We are going to multiply this feature map this pooled gradient so these gradient these pooled gradient would basically act as the weight uh, defining the importance of each feature map in the cone uh, output so this is how it work so here you can see we are multiplying this cone output each layer of cone output with a factor from this pool grad <coughs> next what we do, we calculate the mean of those all the feature map on the axis 
माइनस वन देन वी पास इट वी आर रिलू एक्टिवेशन यू कैन सी द फंक्शन ऑफ रिलू एक्टिवेशन एन पी मैक्स हीट मैप और जीरो आफ्टर दैट वी नॉर्मलाइज द हीट मैप बाई डिवाइडिंग इट विद मैक्सिमम फीचर मैप वैल्यू सो दैट इट्स आउटपुट बिकेम कम इन द रेंज ऑफ जीरो एंड वन एंड दैट इज हाउ वी गेट आवर हीट मैप नाउ वी विल यूज दिस हीट मैप टू सी विच ऑफ द विच एरिया और द विच एटीएल एरिया द फीचर मैप और द न्यूरल नेटवर्क फोकस इज मोस्टली ऑन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दिस क्लास इंडेक्स इफ वी चेंज द क्लास इंडेक्स आई थिंक द हीट मैप वुड ऑल्सो चेंज अकॉर्डिंगली now we have our next function to overlay heat map onto the image now here we have this function it take input uh, image path then the heat map and this alpha value first of all we read this image as rgb then we resize our heat map same as our image because we need both the things of equal height and width then we multiply the heat map by 255 so that we can convert it into the range of 0 to 255 here you can we already know it with this line we convert the heat map values to 0 and 1 in the range of 0 and 1 next we apply a jet uh, color map for better visualization next we have this function called cv dot add weighted via which we superimpose our heat map onto the input image and to control that imposition we have this alpha value you can change that alpha value and when we going to work upon its execution in the main function i'll show you why i have added these line now comes our main function i'll copy the entire thing ओके सो हेर इज आर मेन फंक्शन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी लोड द मोबाइल नेट वी टू मी नाउ वट विल डू वी हैव दिस मॉडल डॉट कमरी सो इफ यू हेयर यू नो वी हैव दिस नेम कॉन वन हाउ वी गेट दिस नेम ओके सो लेट मी रन दिस को टिल नाउ दट इज ग्रेड कैन this working fine and here you can see if we go to the top we have this layer layer its name output shape and the parameter so these are the name of the layer okay you can choose any layer but with grad cam we choose the last cone layer and here you can see we go from last to above this is the last cone layer so we have chosen its same cone underscore one so in this way you can get the name of that specific layer okay so i'll print out that okay so now we have our path to j j we have our jpg image here i'll show you we have two image first is this dog and another dog and we going to save our heat map in this folder called heat map now we use our mobile net v2 we pass it the input image okay and we get the class index and then we get the class label next we print for this thing that is class label and the class index so let me run this okay so i think i have missed this function get class label so let me put it somewhere yeah i have this function sorry for the mistake let me put it here on <coughs> so here we have this a uh, prediction and we use the decode pr pr prediction function give it the prediction we get the top one prediction and we get the class label so this function basically gives the class label if you provide it this uh, pr pr prediction okay 
so now we should have both the class la label and the class index okay so it's a, a labrador retriever index number 208 and it's if we check image doc 2 let me open the image doc 2 okay it's a road wheeler i think yeah it's a road wheeler labra is in the first image okay but we basically know that this um mobile net v2 is give indicating that it's a dog maybe the name is not uh, appropriate it's not right but we know it's a dog that is fine for us next we compute the heat map with this function we overlay and then we save it so let me run it now okay so this task is done now we'll have a heat map Here you can see the heat map is over the dog and if you see the the rest of the part now these uh, these uh, yellow red and blue color scheme is because of the jet uh, color map which we have applied okay now what i'll do i'll remove this thing and we just saw a row black and white okay i think that would be best to just view it as a row and then we can use this okay here you can see over the dog you can see the white area and rest is same or you can see the slightly dark so this is the heat map which we have built or generated or computed because if you see it, see it like this it does not give you any thing but if you apply if you change it to jet color map it give you much better view or visualization now this looks much better so now you know which color indicate that this part is important and which color indicate that this part is not important. so blue color is saying that it is not that indicate in that important and it is focusing only this red yellow orange region now let me change the image to dog one that is a labra and save the heat map as well okay now same it's a labra index 208 okay here you can see it's mainly focusing on its face and i think for a dog that would be the main indicator so that is all about this grad cam and if you feel this video helps you in some way make sure you like it share it and subscribe the channel for more such informative videos thank you have a nice day